in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make VFX lightning beams in Blender. So, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So, first thing you're going to want to do, once you're in a new Blender file, is just go ahead and press A and delete everything. So, start from scratch, add a mesh plane, and go to the top view. Now what you're going to want to do is simply press tab to go into edit mode, press A, S, Y, 0. Once you do this, simply pull up the vertices just like this, and delete the two top vertices. From here, press A, and scale, and subdivide a couple times to give some detail to your line. So just to add more vertices, because later, these vertices are going to be the ones that give the lightning bolt its lightning-like shape. So we can sub that once a bit more, and that should be good for now. The next thing you want to do is select your line, press tab, A, and extrude it just a little bit on the y-axis. From here, go ahead and press add, and add an empty. I'm just going to do a plane axis, and move this off to the side. Now, move up your timeline right here and switch it from a timeline to a graph editor. <clears throat> from here, select your plane axes and open this sidebar right here and make sure that your timeline is at 1 or at 0 and right click on the z-axis and press insert single keyframe. Now, go over here in the bottom right, press modifiers, add modifier, generator and change the influence to about 0.3 somewhere around here we can change this later once you do that click back on your mesh and go into the modifiers tab from the modifiers tab press add modifier and add a displacement modifier so once you make this displacement modifier add a new texture and change the coordinates from local to objects next thing you want to do is change the strength of this to about 3.1 and keep the mid level where it's at. Select the empty as your object and now go into the texture tab. And so what you're gonna wanna do is change the type to clouds and increase the size to two. And keep the depth at one. Now you're gonna wanna add another displacement modifier. However, this time we're gonna use different settings so just like before add your coordinate to be object select your object to be the empty keep your strength at one and now in the clouds setting change your size to be 0.5 and there we go okay so once you add these displacement modifiers go up here where it says object mode and switch to the weight paint mode and so now what you want to do is go to the z-axis so you're looking at it from the bird's eye perspective and technically I should have done this step earlier but you can do it whenever as long as you make sure you do it so select the gradient brush mode and just drag your cursor towards the middle on both sides and then go up to this section where it says weights and select invert now you can switch back to object mode and in these two displacement modifiers, select the vertex group as group, which is the group that you just created. Basically what you just did was you made it so that these sides don't move too much. So if you want to go ahead and press space to play the animation so far. And as you can see, it's still a little bit off, right? But the sides are staying still. That way it makes it look like the electricity is going out and then going a little bit crazy in the center and then stabilizing again. If you wanted to act how it acts in the middle the whole time, you could simply remove your vertex groups and let it go off. Next, you're gonna add a subdivision surface. I'm gonna put my levels to about three and then go ahead and add another displacement modifier. Press new, object, select your empty and do clouds. And for this one, I'm gonna put the size to 0.3 and put the depth to two. And then go back here to the modifiers tab and I'm gonna change the strength to 0.2. And for this one, 
I'm actually not gonna set a vertex group. Okay, so now we're done with the whole rigging part. So the next thing we're gonna do is add colors. So this part is pretty simple. If you guys don't know how to color in Blender, check out my video in the top corner right now. But all you need to do is go over here to the materials tab. And I'm also gonna change my setting to viewport shading. Add a new material. <coughs> And I'm going to change the surface to emission. And I'm going to make the color like a light blue. Put the strength up to about 10. And then go over here to the rendered properties and turn on bloom. So bloom really sells it. The bloom makes it look a lot nicer. Um, I'm also going to change the world to be pitch black. And so now if we go over here to the viewport shading, the bloom <laughs> pops a lot more in the black. So I can just tweak with the color a little bit. Um, this is just a tip for you guys. Lighter colors bloom a lot more. So if I were to put like a really dark blue, it's still glowing, but doesn't glow as much as this light blue would. I'm actually gonna change it to the purple. So like a light purple. And yeah, that looks good. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, this is only one stream right now. So I'm actually going to duplicate it and make it look a little bit better. So to do so, go over here into the X view and press Shift D to duplicate, rotate to the side, and you're also going to want to duplicate the empty. Uh, where is it? So I couldn't, I couldn't see it just now because um, I had the frames all the way at like 66. But if you reset it, now you can see our empties. So I'm just going to. Every time you duplicate it, move it down a little bit, just so what that does is it kind of randomizes the electricity bolts. So now we have this other one. So select your second plane and make sure that you switch all of the objects to instead of empty, empty one. So technically empty two. So now when we play, you can see there's another lightning bolt. And so you can just repeat this process for as many lightning bolts as you'd like. Another thing, um, as you guys can tell, this thing is, is moving very, very fast. So if you want to slow that down a bit, you can just go over here, select your empty, and scroll down here and change your influence. So also make sure that you check this button next to influence. And so as you can see, when you turn your influence down all the way to zero, it stops moving. But if you just take it up to be slow, it moves slower. And if you move it really fast, it'll move super fast. So I would still keep it around three and make sure you do so Make sure you do the same for both of the empties. So check this one. And now our lightning bolts are moving a lot more slowly, a lot more fluid moving. So I'm just gonna duplicate it a few more times. All right, and here is our final product. As you guys can see, there's a lot of room to play around with it. So I can make a whole background for this. I can make like a, I can make particles that surround it. I can make this into some sort of animation move, like attack. But there's a lot of opportunities with this. Like I always say, all you need to do is just play around with it. But that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and comment down below any video ideas you guys have for me. Also, make sure to check out my Twitter page and join the Discord server. Both of those links will be in the description down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time.